seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rangers in space. to Ranger Chronicles. I am your host, Charlie Neymar, and today we are returning to Power Rangers in Space for a special two-part episode. It's not really a special. I mean, it aired over two days. I mean, it's not like they made a big deal about it, but anyway, it is a two-part episode. Dark Specter's Revenge. So let's jump right into our first part, and we are going to do just that here in three, two, one, go. Previously on in space. In a battle with astronomer, Andros tears a locket from her neck and discovers that they are brother and sister. Hey, this Spectre is like the first time that going back two or three episodes actually makes sense. Evil. But Dark Spectre told her she had to destroy Andros. Then, she joined the Rangers on their quest for Zordon. At first, she wasn't trusted, but later, astronomer proved to be honest. Will our heroes finally be reunited with Zordon? Find out on Power Rangers in Space next. Wow. No. This is our work bay, where we do a lot of maintenance and repair. She's still in that outfit? This is the Sensitron. You can make any kind of food you like. Go ahead. Ew. Uh, maybe not quite Weird jello thing. And that Andrews, roll actually may take a while for me to get used to looks all this. a lot like a ball that I mean, my dog plays with. It's a completely different life, you know? I'm sorry, I'm just so glad that you're here. Me too. Yay! But what about the others? They're happy too. Can you forgive me for all the terrible things I've Probably done. Probably not. Home. Please report to the bridge. The other rangers would like to see you. Oh great! Probably voted to throw me into the nearest black hole. There is one nearby. <laughs> Just kidding. What a great brother! It's not as bad as you think. Um. Hi, everybody. Hi. You uh. Wanted to see me? Yeah. Well, we've been talking and... And we've reached an important decision. You have. Yes. Mm. Based on your actions, we've decided there's only one thing to do. And that is to make you an honorary Power Ranger. Huh? Aww. <laughs> wow, she's even got a communicator? They even gave her a communicator. That's kind of cool. Was it golden? Was it Jason's old gold ranger man, uh, communicator? I didn't get a good look at it. Dang it. The, to the problem with doing these commentaries is, Who's unfortunately, there? that you can't just go back and look at stuff. Ooh. Whatever they're doing, why didn't they do it at the end of last episode when he was Come injured? Down. Comfy, I'll destroy you. I doubt it. <laughs> Ooh. You see, my friend, you're about to have an attitude adjustment. <laughs> uh oh. Now say that doesn't look very sanitary. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's mm. Dark Specter's Revenge Part 1 was the 29th episode of Power Rangers in Space. It first aired on October 28, 1998, written by Judd Lynn and Jackie Marchan and directed by Tony Randall.
Oh, she's got more of a... It's not really a matching uniform like the others. Wow, I can't believe it. What a difference. Very purpley. <laughs> Including a purple barrette. You look great. I didn't see the morpher this time. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Dark Honda, is it done? Mission accomplished. Ecliptor will never again forget that his loyalty is only to you, Dark Spectre, the Grand Monarch of Evil. What'd you do to him? Excellent. Now we must destroy the Rangers and their precious Earth. No one kidnaps Astronomer without paying the price. Listen closely. I'm listening. Hey, Balkan Skull. We haven't seen them in like forever. No, I guess we did. They did have a cameo recently. Out here every night to catch aliens. The only thing I've managed to catch is a call. Yeah. Patience, patience, patience. I have very much missed the Balkan Skull, but they. Oh, don't eat it. Ooh. What, Professor? An alien? A UFO? No, I burned my tongue with the marshmallow. Uh oh. Asteroid! Are you telling me he's the first person to notice it? Excellent! Right? And it's headed straight for Earth! Alright! Boys, boys, you don't understand. This is terrible. It's a catastrophe. If this asteroid hits the Earth, it will. Destroy everything! It, it's so large that its force is as powerful as several hydrogen bombs, and the impact would be so tremendous that the Earth as we know it would cease to exist! Is that original footage or stock footage of destruction? <laughs> oh, don't drop that. That looks expensive. How did they not pick it up? Seriously, how is it surprising everyone? What was that? It looks like an asteroid. That was too close to be an accident. You have something you think? that belongs to me. Return, astronomer, and I will spare you. She doesn't belong to anyone. You kidnapped her. And in case you hadn't noticed, your asteroid, it missed us. Of course, it's heading for Earth. <laughs> ay, ay, ay! He's right! You have to do something, Rangers! What are they gonna do? The asteroid. Right. Channel all power to the ship's lasers. Let's blast this thing into a million pieces. Ready to fire. It's actually a pretty good looking CGI asteroid. Bring us in. Of course, it could be like a model asteroid, too. Ooh, the music. It's like they're trying to emulate uh, Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Wars without actually, you know, copying them. Ooh, is it doing anything? I bet you it isn't. We need to get closer. Come on, I've got an idea. Stay here with Alpha. Okay. Yeah, I guess you can't morph. Be careful. We don't have a purple ranger on this team. Okay, guys. You can set them down over here. We need to plant these detonators over the surface of this asteroid. We only have two? Oh, no, they have four, I guess. This was case number 38. Interesting. I wonder if that means anything, or if that was something that the prop department forgot to erase from the thing. Uh-oh. Oh, that was not very good CGI. That's Velocifighter. 
Darkonda! Get them! You three guys take care of the Velocifier, all right? Right! Here, TJ, good luck! Thanks. Come on, guys, we need the Mega Vs! Place them a hundred miles apart. I'll handle these guys. Right. There was no way that they knew that that was supposed to be TJ that was supposed to take care of the uh, rest of them. Interesting. I wonder if there's some there was some weird cloud cover because when they started this, it looked like they were they had no sun, but now it's like the sun is hitting them. Oh, cool! That I bet you. What do you want to bet? That's the um, spiral saber toy. Definitely looked like the spiral saber. And I believe the toy could do that. It would be a pretty good way to use it. It's not like they haven't used the toys before. Go set it. I'll cover you. Look out. It's even got the little handle thing. It's gotta be the toy. The spiral saber toy with a ball on top. Oh, interesting. Interesting combination of footage. Using Sentai footage and combining it with the... Man, this must have taken some money. TJ, how's it coming along? There. We're all set. We only have a few seconds. All right. Mega V1. Mega V3. And considering what's coming up soon... I know a lot more Sentai footage is going to start getting used. Okay, Mega V1, preparing for liftoff. Why didn't they just take their uh, galaxy gliders and go back to the Astro Mega ship? Wow, did it even da slightly damage it at all? Those explosions barely made it in the asteroid. Maybe if we use a Mega Voyager. And the Delta Megazord. Impact with Earth is imminent. Do you have to keep on reminding us? There has to be something that we can do. There is. Dark Spectre sent that asteroid. That means it's been programmed to hit Earth. I can get on the Dark Fortress and reprogram it. What? I've oh. practically spent my entire life trying to find you. I don't want to lose you again. It might be the only way to stop it. Alright. What do we do first? Meanwhile on Earth, the military goes into action at Nasada. Hey, he's back. It's him. It's the commander. That's what I said. Okay. Uh, I'm betting Nasada already knows. They would not be very good commander, at anything if they didn't know. Commander, I have to speak to the commander. Not today, you don't. Okay. But it's a national emergency. It's a world emergency. This is emergency. An asteroid is heading straight for Earth. All right. I made it on board. I'm now heading into. I'll check in from there. Why is she back in an astronomer outfit? Don't they all know that she trade was a traitor? It's pretty quiet. I'm at the computer. Found it. 
Uh oh. Ooh, what's happened to him? He's got a thing on his chest. It is me. There's a lot of tech on him. Ever. What did they do to you? Ooh. The same as will be done to you, my princess. Ooh, is he missing an arm now? Oh no. Shouldn't have let her go back there. How did she know how to how did she get back to the ship? Power Rangers. There's an asteroid heading for Earth. We need your help. You're the only ones who can stop it. If you can hear this, we get one more chance. The Megazord. They could answer the guy and say, oh, we got it. We're on our way. Ooh. Did you see all those microphones? I have troubling news. A large asteroid is on a collision course with Earth. Channel 9. We are doing everything we can. Channel 15. Hey! We haven't been there for a while. I mean, we still didn't see... What's her name, but... Oh. Again? The impact formed a cloud of dust and water that covered the entire planet. Shutting out nearly all of the sunlight necessary to sustain life. Many plant species died, and scientists believe this may have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. Oh, well, let's see, dinosaurs aren't around anymore, so we'll be fine. Professor Phenonymous. Yes. If the world is on you the said the name wrong. What should our viewers be doing? Phenonymous? They should. That's getting really close. Alright, so we should point, or we, I should point out here, this is completely American footage. They're, all this footage is new, so they actually have the Megazord suits here. And I am, I don't know how they're doing all this. I guess the remotes are pretty, oh, nope, okay. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, they have the suits, I suppose. Any of the others have boosters? Maybe Delta? What are they going to do? Are they going to take an experimental spacecraft? Blast off into space before the asteroid hits the Earth! Hey, wait, hey, you don't... Dude, that's... I'm going to get inside that thing and take off, do you? First. You First. That's like an Apollo asteroid. launching thing. Coming through. From the Apollo missions. Two. They didn't see that before. <laughs> 
It's a giant rocket on a giant launch pad. How could they have not seen that from where they were just a minute ago? Oh, look, reused footage. Oh my gosh, this is... Yeah, this is real. That's real. They could have just snuck on board and launched it. Okay, it's broken up, it looks like. Looks like something detached on that ship. Fire reserve energy! We already have! We don't have enough force! Okay, the Megazords are not working! And we're going to con be continued next time on an all new episode of Power Rangers in Space! Reprogram the asteroid. Something happened to her. So, hey, look who's back! Those rangers will be coming after her. It's me, Andros. I am astronomer. What did they do to you? Equipped her. Uh oh. We gotta get out of here. Not without my sister. Next time on Power Rangers in Space. Why do you drag us out here every night to catch aliens? The only thing I bet, bet. Let's try that one again. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have them back. She's stuck in, I think, in this outfit for the rest of the season. <laughs> well, that was fun. All right, well, on that dour note, we are going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back with Dark Spectre's Revenge Part 2. I'll see you in a minute. Next week. It's time to destroy the Rangers. There is a force so evil. I can't believe it. So sinister. They're after us. And so powerful. The Power Rangers may have finally met their match. We're in big trouble. Catch Psycho Rangers Week on an all-new Power Rangers in Space, all next week on Fox Kids. All right, and we're back, and we're ready for Dark Spectre's Revenge Part 2. So let's jump right into this in 3, 2, 1, go! Previously on Power Rangers in Space. An asteroid is heading straight for Earth! I still don't see how Masada didn't see it. I can get on the Dark Fortress and reprogram it. Found it. Astronomer. So she was basically a good guy for like, I don't know, five minutes. Megazords. We can blast off into space before the asteroid hits the Earth. Because that part was believable. Doesn't seem to be working. Boosters at full power. Because <laughs> running is going to save you. <laughs> we're entering Earth's atmosphere. We can't take much more. Oh, we're so close. We just need a little more power. Wait, what's that ahead? Oh, new help. Another sword? Hey, guys, I'm back. I knew you'd miss me eventually. Now let's take care of this. Let's go, Zane. How did he know? Mega Winger, online. Hey, Mega Winger. Gonna save the day? Four Zords? I'm surprised the Zords haven't started melting yet. Friction and whatnot. It's working, changing course. Yay! Hurry! Thanks, 
Yay! So what's the point of the rest of the episode now? <laughs> Dark Specter's Revenge Part 2 was the 30th episode of Power Rangers in Space. It first aired on October 29th, 1998, written by Judd Lynn and Jackie Marchand and directed by Tony Randell. Go Power Rangers, go Power Rangers, go Power Rangers now! In space! Go Power Rangers, go Power Rangers, go Power Rangers now! In space! Where'd you get that ship? The Mega Winger? The Rebels built it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's great to see you. The Dark Fortress has been located in quadrant 446.7 behind planet Braden. Can you pinpoint Caron? Caron? You found your sister? Uh, Zane, hey, listen. We found out that Astronomer is Caron. Darkana was the one that kidnapped her. She defected to our side, but she went to the Dark Fortress to try to reprogram the asteroid. Something happened to her. I knew there was something good about her. Let's go. I have an interest in her, too. What do you mean you have uh -oh. an interest? Oh. <laughs> oh, you do? What's that? Oh, hey, they landed. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think we survived. You think? What alien planet could they be on? What planet are we on? We have to find shelter, but be careful. This planet could be swarming with aliens. Uh, well, technically, you guys are the aliens. Right? Look, a Velocifighter straight ahead. Perfect. Hey, Andros. I bet if we catch a ride with this guy, he'll take us right to a strong. Yeah. You mean the Velocifighter doesn't know? And didn't hear that? Well, I guess they're in space, so I guess there wouldn't be a noise. Never mind. Wow, that's some pretty good special effects here. You know, it'd be fitting, since we saw in the preview that they're going to be like wearing Quantron uniforms, it'd be fitting if Zane was wearing one of those like more silvery ones and Andros is wearing the black one. Oh yeah, no one's gonna notice you! Especially the people way above you! Oh look, unmorphed real fast. You went out on a date with my sister? <laughs> I didn't know she's your sister. Besides, it wasn't really a date. In fact, watch out! In fact, she dumped him. Come on. Just one date. It really wasn't anything. Oh, come on. Really? Elgar, what a go, Andros. Ooh, Elgar's back. I haven't seen him for, like, what, two episodes? Three episodes? Will be coming after her. You get it, Buzz? <laughs> they could be here at any moment. We've got to keep our eyes open. We trust the Elgar on the job. There's no way a ranger will step foot on board. They better not. I'm relying on you. Now get busy. Don't you worry, your friend. <laughs> Hey! Oh well, maybe they are doing to do what I thought.
I mean, uh, yeah, you got it. Now, carry over. I mean, on. Yeah, you, you know, now, uh, get out of here, you two knuckleheads. <laughs> what a couple of good guys. I wonder what's for lunch. Okay. Well, that was classic Elgar. Oh, they're wearing the backwards. Come on, let's find the control room. I guess it more matches their suit, or their, you know, their KO-35 uniforms more than it does the uh, morph power costume. Oh, they found Astronema. Oh, and her collection of Power Ranger figures. Sweet! Carone. It's me, Andros. Oh, she's been borged. What did they do to you? Eclipse her. Get them. <gasps> and she's Hello. lost all color in her face. I am strong. <laughs> right. She's not your sister anymore. Again. Well, that's a very flimsy outfit. It's amazing they have so much trouble with them. They should probably morph. So much for stealth. That's gotta hurt your back. Let's rock it. Uh, you guys are kind of overwhelmed, I think. Ooh, and they left their uh, galaxy gliders out in space, right? Nice. Sayonara. Ooh, those look very crude to compared to all the other stuff they've normally been doing. That's really not bad. They even got the shadows on the walls. You guys okay? We're fine. The crone's not. They brainwashed her. She's astronomer again. Oh man. Anyone out there wanted to see Christopher Cayman Lee's butt? That was a good shot of it. With a shoe on it? An old shoe. Just, Just like, like on Earth. Earth! You know what this means? Some aliens walk around with only one shoe on? No. It means oh, probably. That we never even left the Earth. But now they hear the card horns? <laughs> they just came from that direction. Oh. Those three? What? 
Why would Astronomer want them destroyed? Oh, okay, so we have about nine minutes to do a regular Power Rangers episode. What are they doing out in the middle of the desert? We better help them out. Let's do it. I don't think it matters what they're doing out there. I think the important thing is there's a monster attacking them. Stay where you are. Uh, uh, and you professor? are about to get your behind kicked. <laughs> so nice to meet you. Uh oh, run, professor. <laughs> Oh, they can flip real well. Didn't do anything. Hey! She just said Carlos's name out loud. Right near the... Right near the um, Hulk skull and the professor. Granted, there's going to be lots of Carloses. But, you know, the irony that they actually know one maybe might have put something in their heads. Wow, it just shows up all put together. <laughs> that takes away half the drama. Oh, so much for that idea. Oh no, we're trapped. <laughs> Feeling a little tied down, Rangers? <laughs> Maybe we should see if I can't lighten your load a little for ya. <laughs> Shields up. <laughs> oh. Take your time, Zane. We've got to break loose. Maximum power boost. Yeah, keep All taking right, your time. We See, we just needed a little extra power. I haven't finished with you yet, Rangers. There we go, finally. Jeez, that was kind of crazy there. Mega Winger, transform! Yeah, there we go. So, what do you guys think of my new Mega Winger? It's great. Yeah, it rocks. It even has the set, the right belt buckle. Who invited you? You made it an open invitation once you started messing with my friends. Let's party! Ooh, energy shield. That's cool. Oh, nifty. some features that you just may want to try out. Show us. Check this out. Disengage wing now. Ooh. Giving the Mega Voyager flight abilities, huh? 
That's cool. Ooh, really slow flight capabilities. Winged Mega Voyager! Unbelievable! I'm loving this! Pull right! Ooh, nice hit. Mega V3 missile mode! Fire! Ooh! From the sky. That'll be the end of the intro for a while. Just picture that with like produced by Jonathan Zacker over it. Hey, you guys all right? Yeah, we're better. Hey, we had everything under control, but thanks for helping out anyway. What are you three doing out here anyway? What are we doing out here? That's a very good question. <laughs> Which I can't yeah. answer. <laughs> oh, come on, we'll give you a lift back. Oh, all right. Great. Yeah, yeah. thank you. So it oh. is. <laughs> oh, the galaxy gliders. Are you ready? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Oh. You know, it's fun. Falk and Skull, they barely know any of these people. And they're still messing with power, in, getting into the Power Rangers' lives. Wow. Oh. The Silver Ranger and his Mega Winger have tipped the balance of power in favor of the Rangers. We need more strength. We? I am Astronomer, Princess of Darkness. And you? You're an outcast. What did you say? Ooh. Throw them out. With pleasure. This is preposterous. <laughs> you would be destroyed. Go ahead. She's I getting rid of Darkonda? Left, but remember, you have only one. That didn't work. Your sister's emotions have been overridden by computer programming. Then Corona's still in there. She's just not in control anymore. I've never met a program that didn't have a glitch in it somewhere. You just have to find it. I don't know how. So there's a chance. But someday, I'll get my sister back. Ooh, I know when. I kind of know how. Now no, that was cool. We've caught Ranger. The Rangers have finally met their match. Next time on Power Rangers. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Some aliens walk around with only one shoe on. It means I don't think I've ever seen all of the psycho uh psycho story <laughs> <They can't laughs> whoops why are they laughing oh okay well that's going to do it for this time as you saw next time out we are beginning the Psycho Ranger saga. And I can't wait because I have yet, like I said, I have yet to see all of it. So we're going to get that started next week with two episodes. Rangers Gone Psycho and Carlos on Call. So until then, I hope you all have a fantastic week and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Thank you for listening to Ranger Chronicles. Feedback for the show can be sent to prchronicles at gmail.com or feel free to leave a comment on the show's posting at powerrangerchronicles.com. Ranger Chronicles is now on Patreon. If you'd like to support the show, please visit patreon.com slash rangerchronicles for more information. All images and music heard on the show are copyright the respective copyright holders and are used for entertainment purposes only. No infringement is intended. This show is dedicated to everyone, both in front of the camera and behind the scenes, who have worked to bring us Power Rangers since 1993. Ranger Chronicles is a proud member of the Two True Freaks Internet 
Internet Radio Network. Please be sure to stop by 2TrueFreaks.com to check out more great shows. Thank you, and may the power protect you. Power in your life.